beekeeping opens doors to many careers, including those in science. We are going to discuss some serious research projects in the coming new episodes on this channel, but for now, we'd like to share our vision as to how easy it is to make the first steps on the road to big science without actually dissecting any live creatures. The focus of our experiment is to research bees' cognitive abilities in a very simple way, open to a hobby beekeeper of any age. Park and garden mazes are intricate green corridors formed by the high hedges made of clipped shrubs. It is not easy to find a way out from inside the labyrinth. These kind of structures have been around for thousands of years and are still found around the world. In gardens and parks, they were popular in the 18th and 19th centuries. Seemingly never-ending journey along the twists and turns of the intertwined pathways is a special experience. This summer, while navigating one of these beautiful landscape design marvels, we started talking about the fact that if a maze is so tricky for people, could we use it to assess the intelligence of, uh, well, bees, for example? On our arrival home, we drew, designed and then built a suitable size research labyrinth. Elegant, beautiful product. The first test run was carried out on a wasp that lost her vigilance near a drop of honey she found. Once placed in the center of the maze, she immediately rushed to find a way out vigorously explored most of the forks, passages and dead ends until finally took the path leading to freedom. After that, a bee was given a chance to show how smart she is. All of the participants were able to find the way out within minutes. Some were fast thinkers and spent less time, for others the process took longer, but each one managed to get out. One of us got the impression that wasps are more energetic. The opponent claimed that bees seem to be moving more purposefully. The excitement of the competition made us conduct and record on video a series of experiments with both bees and wasps. From the footage collected, we chose champions in their respective categories. The competition finals will take place here and now. On the left is the bee. On the right is the wasp. Ready? Go! It was amazing to discover that small insects, which are commonly regarded as very primitive beings, can actually cope quickly and confidently with such a difficult intellectual challenge that even people find rather complex. So we got interested to compare the best achievements of bees and wasps with the results of people. But how can we put a person exploring the maze on a level playing field with the insects? As for us, by the time our labyrinth was built and then filmed, all its paths and shortcuts were unwittingly imprinted in the memory. Therefore, we thought it makes perfect sense to look for volunteers among our viewers. Sorry, we have to interrupt this discussion for a few moments and return to our contestants. The bee is now on the final stretch of the finish line. And she's the winner. Her time is 54 seconds. Second place goes to the participant in a yellow jersey. We are going to see her finish time right now. It's 1 minute and 8 seconds. Now we can move on and expand our experiment by offering the visitors to our channel a chance to take part in the competition with the insects. How can this be done in reality? Doesn't that mean building a labyrinth with walls as high as a man? We thought of an easier way and came to the conclusion that a computer simulation would suffice. We have designed such a program. Here it is on the screen. All of the maze is hidden except for a small portion right below the magnifying glass. By moving it along the paths, you need to find a way out. At any time, you can take your finger off the handle and continue by putting it elsewhere within the response area. Actually, it is quite easy to take part in the experiment by using just two sheets of paper instead of a smartphone app. Get the picture file of the labyrinth from us and print it at the center of the first page. Make a 2 centimeter round hole at the center of the second one 
and put it on the top. Now, without prior looking at the labyrinth and memorizing it, start the timer and try to get from the center to the exit in one attempt, just by shifting the top paper sheet all along your path. Get your relatives, friends and acquaintances involved in the competition, but only before they watch this video or know who their opponents are. Show it after the fact and let them compare their time and that of the insects. 